Hey there, do you play Minecraft? In that case, you're probably used to seeing this. This is the Minecraft launcher. You have your play right here, you have Minecraft dungeons, you have news, you have installations where you can have different profiles, you can have Forge, you can have Fabric and all that good stuff and you can switch between them. You have a skins library and of course the patch notes. But I'm about to show you something that is way better, in my opinion. Meet Multi-MC. Let's begin. Alright, so first off, hello and welcome to my Multi-MC tutorial series. I will leave a link for the entire playlist down below in the description. If you wish to check out how to install Multi-MC, how to add instances, how to install mod packs, and doing all that good stuff, be sure to check it out. But if you don't know what Multi-MC is, this video is for you. So, Multi-MC, first off, it is free. It is for Windows, Mac and Linux and it's open source. For those of you who don't know what open source is, it basically means that the code is open for you to look at. Now, Multi-MC is amazing and I didn't use it at first, but when I started using it, I, did, I cannot go back to any other launcher. It is, in my opinion, better than any other Minecraft launcher I have ever seen. This is amazing. So, let me show you. These are all my series. So, in every different series that I make, I have some different things. I have a different, maybe a different Minecraft version, different resource packs, different shader packs, different as I said, Minecraft versions, different mods especially. Multi-MC makes this very easy. So for example, Ice and Fire, it's in 1.12.2, I have a specific mod pack. In my Nether Survival, I have 1.16.2 with some specific mods, such as Optifine. In One Block Sky Block, I have 1.15.2. Here's the issue. Normally, I would have to have my .minecraft folder, then I would have to go into it, open the mods folder, take out the ice and fire mods and then put in my nether survival mods in order for it to work because otherwise it won't work but with multi-mc i can have them all listed here almost like well pretty much as like a steam library i have all the games here and whichever i need i just double click on it and boom it opens up my high pixel uh micro profile or my one block sky block you get the idea the other amazing thing is it has built in ability to download directly from FTP mod packs. Like this is amazing. You can just go in here and you can download any FTP, public FTP mod pack and even third party mod packs. And you can even download mod packs directly from Twitch as well. So in here I just search for RLCraft, boom, RLCraft right there, press OK. And boom, you have just installed RLCraft. Way better, in my opinion, than the Twitch client. This is my personal opinion, but I absolutely do not like the Twitch client. It is on my least favorite client list. I'll probably make another video about that another time. But this is just to show that Multi-MC, just two clicks of a button and you have a mod pack installed already and when you have all these different instances it is super easy to manage them just one click and you have access to all the mods you can disable and enable them you can add them super super easily you can have notes for that specific instance you have a list of your resource packs without you needing to go into the micro folder or without you needing to launch micro first you can just add remove enable and disable you have a list of your world, so if you just want to quickly copy a seed of your world but don't want to actually launch Minecraft, you can do so. You can even attach MC Edit to Multi-MC and open that world in MC Edit with just one click of a button. You can even get the list of servers, you can add servers without having to be online, you can manage your screenshots, and there are of course Java settings and game window settings and stuff like that, plus it gives the best, in my opinion, the best uh, log file. When you launch Minecraft, you can it actually color codes different things. So warnings it color codes with yellow and errors it, it color codes with red. So you can quickly skim through it to see what is what. And you have this amazing 
thing here where you can take a look at all the logs and you can even upload it and copy the entire thing if you need to make it something like a bug report. It is super amazing. This also makes it very easy to export because you can export your instances and then you can import them just as easily in on another, for example, PC or in a new Windows installation if you reinstall Windows or something like that. It is also super easy to install Forge and Fabric. It literally takes two clicks. All I need to do is edit instance, then go into version and then right here, install Forge and Fabric. All I need to do is click install Fabric, choose the version, boom, it installs the Fabric version that matches my Minecraft version. Super amazing. It is so simple and so easy and makes your life so much easier. And now that I have Fabric installed, why don't I just go ahead and add uh, into downloads here and I'm pretty sure I have them. Yep, up to Fabric and up to Find. Boom, open, done. I have just installed up to Find and up to Fabric and Fabric for my vanilla Let's Play series with what, seven clicks? And it's super simple to use, super easy. And to make it even better, you can even upload your own uh, you can even add your own icons to the different instances. So if I wanted to change this into, let's say, a netherite sword, I could just do add icon and sword and boom, I have a new icon so I can properly make things look the way I want it to. You can even organize it in groups like I have. I have something in development. I have non-series, which is... Well, a mod pack that I played outside of series, Sky Factory 4, I played that. Then I have all the things that I use for my series, and then I have an unused tab for ones that I don't use anymore, but maybe I want to keep, maybe I want to keep the world, maybe I want to keep some screenshots, or something like that. Now again, this is 100% free, you will need to install Java, but that it literally takes like, what, four clicks as well. Super easy. If you're interested in multi-MC, I will leave a, as I said, a link to my playlist down below in the description and a direct link to the installation video so you know how to install it. I hope this was informational and I hope you learned. If you have any questions, be sure to let the, leave them down below in the comments. And I hope to see you in the other multi-MC tutorials I've made. Have a wonderful day and goodbye. Don't allow now where to see Zapu, a fluid, me, my ad, just a bunting, me, could dig now.